was just Mother's Day. <laughs> How did it already become Father's Day? I celebrate my dad all year long. Mm. Probably not as true as it should be. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. You know it used to be mad love. So take uh, a look what you've done. Uh, Cause baby, now we got bad uh, blood. Hey, I can't take it back. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of Mondays with Mandy. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, I'm gonna give you guys five different ideas for you to use when you're buying gifts for your dad this year for Father's Day. Whether you guys are buying for your dad or you're buying for a grandfather or a father-like figure or maybe you're buying for your husband for the kids to buy for him. These are all really, really great ideas for you guys to use. It may take a little looking and picking out on your part. However, I'm cutting down the research like in half if not more. So then to save you guys time and effort, and it's still with a week in advance, so you guys have tons of time to order this stuff, and most of the places that are selling these, especially for Father's Day, will get you this package before Father's Day rolls around on the 18th, 19th, 18th? It's on Sunday, right? It's on Sunday. Just getting so adventurous with my hair. I mean, you know, why not? Like. Let's just jump on the bandwagon. Let's get crazy. So this is like my little, I've done a top knot before. That's not crazy. This isn't as crazy, but I did like two little pigtail top knots, like space top knots with like a little headband and it looks so cute, but it's something I've never done before. Just, Asia's making me crazy. Asia's making me question my hair choices. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button so you get notified every time I post a new video, which is every Monday for Mondays with Mandy and throughout the week for makeup tutorials, hauls, reviews, random things. I've been vlogging a lot because I'm over here in Asia, getting crazy on a cruise ship. I have a couple vlogs coming out for you guys. I'm pretty excited. You get ready. You get ready. All right, without further ado, let's jump into this video. So if y'all haven't heard about Pinterest, or Etsy, y'all have been living under a rock because Pinterest is like my new Google. Anytime that I go to search for anything, whether it's makeup looks or DIYs or gift ideas, AKA Father's Day ideas, I go to Pinterest. Pinterest is like my number one go-to place to look for things. And Pinterest makes it super easy. You put in Father's Day gift ideas and they'll even get more specific for you. They'll say from daughter, from son, grandkids. They'll get really specific for you to help narrow down what you're looking for. But they will also put items at the very top that you can just purchase right away. It'll send you right to that link and you're able to purchase one click and you're done. The other website that I highly recommend is Etsy. There are some amazing, amazing handcrafted gifts that you can buy from people that are running a small business and who better to support than small business owners. They have some really amazing things. I found some really cute mugs, some ties. They also have different kinds of memorabilia or posters or paintings, decor that they can put in their office or their study or at work, wherever they might be. Just really, really unique items. So the next two ideas I have kind of play into each other, but first I'm going to talk to you guys about mancrates.com. This website is so Awesome, this is a wooden crate, literally, that you can personalize or there are different kinds of categories. It's for grilling and barbecue and they will send all kinds of items in that certain category. I don't know why I keep doing this, but that just seems to make sense. Or for sports like baseball, basketball, football. There is a drink category, which I'm pretty sure is mostly curated to beers. Outdoor crates, which can be fishing and hunting. Or you can personalize your own box. I will say though that these crates are a little bit more on the expensive side, anywhere from $70 to $100 hundred dollars plus so they can get a little bit expensive so you might want to go in on it with somebody else and share the costs. The third idea are subscription boxes. These are so much fun. I'm not just talking about the normal like makeup glam things that girls get. They have gotten really creative with the type of subscription boxes curated just for men and I'm going to give you a couple of my favorites. So I have these descriptions on my phone so I wanted to make sure that I describe these boxes to their fullest potential. Spreza box is the first one. It is $49 a month and it is a fashion inspired box. This is more for that Dapper Dan kind of guy. So if he's more of a dressy type, he will definitely enjoy this. They have an in-house stylist that will pick out things like tie socks, pocket squares, and other lifestyle and grooming items. Taste Trunk is a barbecue subscription. It is $49 for one month, or it can be $33 for a monthly subscription. Sources handpicked small batch brands for barbecue aficionados so you get family recipes and distinctive flavors. I know my dad would totally love that. I'm pretty sure my boyfriend and my brother would all love that. You can also find a lot of different subscription boxes that offer different beers. This is something that I did for my brother for his birthday. Every single month they send him six 
different beers and the snacks that correlate with those beers for him to try out. And if they ended up liking him, he can order them online or he can get them in his local grocer. But that way he is exposed to all kinds of different beers from all over the world. And of course there's the infamous Dollar Shave Club which can send all kinds of different items curated for that gorgeous beard or for your hair, I think. And it's only $1 a month. Something I'm seeing all over Pinterest and just all over the web in general are photo collages. I think people kind of forget the simplicity of a heartfelt DIY, something that came from you, that you made yourself. Photo collages are A, super easy and B, incredibly affordable. So if you just get a frame, you can get it from like a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels or any kind of craft store in your area and just put it all together. You can print it out from a Walgreens or a Walmart, wherever you get your photos developed. And it's so, so simple and it's so heartfelt. But all those photos are so much fun for him to look at. He can keep it in his study or in his office or in his man cave, wherever he decides to hang that up. And the last recommendation kind of goes into the Pinterest and Etsy, Amazon. Amazon is such a great place to look for some amazing, very unique gifts. If your guy is a sports fanatic, you will find some really awesome and very unique items pertaining to that sports team on Amazon. And if you have a Prime membership, you get shipping for free. So that's it, those are all of my ideas. I also created a Pinterest board for you guys to take advantage of. That link is gonna be put down below for you guys to check out. If you guys have any ideas or things that you have done for your Father's Day in the past, please put them in the comments below. I know that we will all benefit from those and I mean it never hurts to have more ideas. So with that, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click this button right here so you don't miss out on any of the fun videos I have coming on my channel very, very soon. You can also find me on all of my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and my website that's all linked down below for you guys to check out and connect with me as always. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your week. Have a wonderful fall. Father's Day to all of you that are celebrating, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys. Anybody? Samantha. Samantha Ravendahl. I love her so much. She's from Canada. She's awesome and she's drop dead gorgeous and I just want to be her friend. I want us to be best friends. <sighs> la, 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 la. I'm not doing well today. Bye.